ladies and gentlemen, I'm Like and Dark Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So, in the last episode, I had to restart a um, new game because there was a recent update. And it's actually going, I think, a lot better than before. If we look at my formations here, we can see that right now I already have three... Um, Three of these really precious farm ships, two Irenic and one Rover, which is really great at this point in the game. Uh, I think I've already... Uh, so we jumped in this new system, in this new planet, and we have two events that we can do. First is this one, we could gain a mining ship if we play our cards right. And the second one would be this, uh, where we can... Uh, gain a warship unfortunately i don't have enough ore right now to get both of them i think so i'll probably just try to take the mining ship because i think it's a lot more precious at this point at least it, a lot, it is a lot more precious than this um ship here also let's see if i can actually do something uh perhaps Something like selling one of my mining equipments, one of these guys. Oh, this guy is pretty good. You, you stay here. Wait, let me see. Do you have plus two attack or something? No, you don't. So, he, so he, his weapons are actually just plus one damage. I mean, one damage. Um, I think I'll be melting down this guy. If I don't have enough to take over this one. Okay, so first, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? I didn't hear that right. I think they didn't let me... Oh, this is a warship. So, there's this uh, sort of a rule, right? If you hover over the um, relationships icon here, you can see that if you're neutral with a certain faction, you can only hail food ships or industry ships. And even, I think, cargo ships. Um... But we cannot heal warships. That's why this guy is not uh, talking with me. Um, he's not responding to my hails, unfortunately. Yep, so I don't see any profit in discussing with you. Invest in friendship first. So we need to be at green. At least one green line there. So, uh, the, dis the disputed derelict. So, these guys... Um, found a rover ship here without a crew and they wanted to salvage it unfortunately um let's see um so uh this ship they say that it belongs to these guys here um and uh, these guys uh, the ones that wanted to perform the salvage must pay 12 ore they said now, I cannot really remember the right choice here. Um, I really would love to gain this uh, ship here. I think this is the option to gain that one. So, insist that the extractor DIC comply with the... Nope. I'm pretty sure that's not the one to choose. Um, so, here's what I'm thinking. I can lose a little bit of my relationships with the rovers as long as I get this... Um, extractor this mining ship I can lose a little bit of my relationship even if it goes down to yellow I think I can I can recoup that as long as it doesn't go uh, below red I mean below yellow uh, meaning red I think I'll be good okay so let's see uh, tell the corp you'll give them 10% of the ore uh, they salvage on any future wrecks you come across if they join you and tell the rover that you'll give them one ore to leave or else okay uh, that may be a good thing maybe I don't know uh, that's probably gonna make me lose some relationship with the um, with the rovers but it but giving 10% to the corp I think uh, it will convince them um, enough. I think I tried this one before and I was able to convince the ship to join me. Um, the first option is offer the extractor protection and tell the rover that the corp ship has the legal right to salvage that ship. That will probably worse, worsen my relationship with uh, the rover and I don't know if after this event this guy will come with me. 
Um, we can insist that the extractor DIC, the rector in charge, comply with the rover's demand before they can salvage the wreck. Uh, that's probably not gonna be good because this guy would probably jump away. Um, we can tell the rovers that we will give them 12 ore and let the extractor salvage the wreck and offer them both protection. Okay, oh, that would be nice, but I cannot remember what happens here. I cannot remember what happens here. I, I think the safest option would be this one. I think the safest option would be this one. Yeah, I'm pretty much convinced that this is the better option. Um, okay, let's try this one. So, Rover, I am transferring one ore to you now. If you try anything funny, I will not hesitate to, va to vaporize your ship. Yep, that worsened my relationship with them slightly, but that's okay. We are still in the green, and that actually improved my relationship with the corp, which is pretty nice. Now, we have three factions that are in a good relationship with us, so that's good. So, the rover takes the ore and jumps away, clearly upset with the deal. Meanwhile, the extractor salvages the wreck and joins us. That's good. So, let's scan here. Um, okay, yeah, that, that's not now is it um let's see here that it just exploded so i'll go here and retrieve it uh okay we also since we have a positive relationship with these guys i think i can even take this one well actually i think if i were to talk with this guy he will offer himself as a mercenary but that would also if i were to take his um let's say his offer of being a mercenary to me that will worsen my um, my relationship with the uh, with the corp. So that's not something I want. Um, so for now, let us go. Uh, let's head over here uh, to the to the trade beacon, and let's actually see. So how how is this expanding now? Uh, we are quite far away still. I'm just uh, what I'm looking for is actually this guy. Um, how far away the gateway is from the harvester invasion but i think we're still good okay and should be good um let's put this guy into here so you can see here that there this is the mining range so that is the range where my ships uh the mining mining ships usually i put them there so that as soon as we are on a planet where there are mine mineable resources uh, or that you can mine um, they will start mining it um, be careful though because um, mine mining lasers require uh, they're very efficient but, but they do require uh, fuel to function so sometimes you may not I mean if you don't uh, if you're not careful enough sometimes you could be losing too many of these guys um, too much fuel and uh, that would delay your jump so be careful about that um, sometimes it can happen i'm just waiting for this guy to take that remain on you're gonna be able to do it right come on dude okay um it, it is only two um two or but i think it's uh, it's worth it to take it over so let's jump away towards a new system oh there's a pack no not a pack that's a rover haven so rover havens or they are called the rover havens okay great we are just about to receive another automated farm another farm ship from the rovers though so that's only plus five to water but that's okay so let's see here oh this uh this planet is producing a lot of water that's great that means um i'll be able to accumulate a lot of water and that means that i will be able to have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of crew and ships under my control soon enough uh, let's scan this guy so they have a uh, rover haven yeah this is the trade beacon <clears throat> i'm gonna do go there and hail them to trade and also uh where's my fixer so here's my rover fixer you go here and fix this guy or at least follow it this guy's about to contact me I'm pretty sure because uh, you can see that it is disabled this event 
usually means that it is about to contact me. Um, so I've never seen mu much, I've never spent much time near rovers, much less having them under my command. I'm surprised to say that apart from their strange clipped way of talking, they're no different from other members of my crew. So, Stranded Craft. craft. Uh, we have here the Boozer, and main engines appear to have failed on the Rover Craft, Bo Rover craft Boozer, sir. Uh, she's broadcasting a Mayday. Okay, Mayday, don't worry. Um, so, they joined me. Now I'm gonna fix it. It will only cost me one ore, I think. Or about that much. And also, we can start mining. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna start melting ice for now because uh, I want to have... Uh, I want this one full, okay? Yeah, look at that. Uh, that's why mining ships are so great because they can help you have more or um, accumulate water a lot faster. Also, also, water production is really great on this uh, planet, so that's great. So, let's see here. Um, I'm inclined to buy some... Uh, to buy mining lasers for now for my mining ship. So I'm gonna do that Wait, where's my mining ship here? Uh, he oh, right. We also have this one. So I'm gonna sell that one uh, Mining laser. Let's see you have yeah, that's pretty great. Great. Uh, look at that fire rate um, I'm gonna go for fire rate for now because I don't really need that much range on these weapons So let's do that so we encounter our first. Um, I think. I think this is our first mining uh, blueprint, but I'm not really sure. So this is a plan or a blueprint. So it practically gives you the ability to produce your own weapons instead of buying them one by one. Okay, this is great to because it will uh, enable you to not consume too many of these guys, um, too many ore, too much ore. So let's see. So we have Quantum Rift, uh, it will uh, uh, halt the Harvester Wave for some time but this, and also this does the same thing, I think, yeah. Um, it just halts them for, yeah, same thing, I think. Uh, wave propagation, wave, okay, yeah, wave propagation for half a day per use. Um, nope, I don't have enough for any of these two. And I think what I should do, uh, can we sell something to buy a full-blown laser? That would be nice. So yeah, sell that uh, other laser first. Uh, this is pretty nice, I think. Uh, no, not too good. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy this one. Yeah, buy this one. So that's our second one. Can we buy something else? Um, I don't think so. I could buy this one, but it does cost a lot. Uh, do we have some trade things that we can give them? Oh, wait. Wasn't this like plus 4? I remember this one to be plus 4 instead of only plus 2. I wonder if that changed sometimes. Maybe. Yeah, I'm inclined to sell this one for the water. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, where's, where are my other guys here? Uh, but actually, I have 10. So, I could actually buy one of these guys here if I wanted to. Hmm. More of these or water? I think I'm gonna go for water for now. Uh, I'm not yet too worried about uh, having too many weapons. Also, we already have this guy here. Which is going to help me a lot, so I'm not too worried about uh, weapons. Also, these weapons are only one damage, so uh, it's not that good. They're not that good. Oh, luckily we still have some ore to repair this guy. Also, let's start putting this. Uh, let's see. So we have. We can go to the, to a packed place here. Oh, they are actually quite fast. Oh, dude, they are really near now. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go here. 
then go back and then go to the jump gate uh, then I'll go back to rover corp and then jump gate that's what I'm gonna do for now come on repair that ship great so the repair crew scrambles aboard the craft and quickly repairs its drives uh, the captain of the bruiser hails you again uh, jump ready we join um, and they gave us oh really dude that would have been so nice before but uh, we've gained six ore and three water which is pretty nice let's put them into formation as you can see here i'm putting them inside the formation uh, because uh, i want to protect them actually i think we have time to kill these guys again maybe not yeah not yeah i thought i would have had enough time Unfortunately, that's not the case, so let's jump! <clears throat> and we have an Irenic uh, cruise liner here. Very good ship to have if you want to have a lot of cargo space. And also we have another ship here. Oh, that's a pack! Frigate! That's great, that means we can go there. Okay, you, go there and crew that ship. Do we have another ship here somewhere? I don't think so. So we'll need to kill this guy and make him join me. So day 24, uh, I never wanted to be a farmer. That's why I joined the pack. But I have to admit these Irenic ships or Irenic farm ships are impressive. They are vastly more efficient at growing protein and carbohydrates than we are. But there's a big downside. Their systems requires a lot of water. If I'm going to rely on these ships for food, I'll have to be very careful where I jump or I'm going to have some starving people on my hands. Fortunately, I can send scouts ahead to have verify the water quality if I have the time and the ships to spare. I wonder if this uh, thing about uh, the Irenic ships uh, requiring a lot of water i wonder if that is also the same for the other farm ships because i think it could it is right uh, because water production only i think it only depends on the water quality or level on the planet so yeah so receiving a request for a hail from the irene cruise liner don't worry i'm about to hail you and there it is so greetings we were sent to pick up any stragglers from our recent convoy it appears that you have picked some of our people we are prepared to receive them i am going to offer them to join me i want them to join me they will accept definitely they usually accept so i'm pretty sure they will accept this time as well uh, so let's put them in my roster in, in my formation I'm about to gain another ship so wait let's see so what are levels on this planet oh that not really the best i guess it's neutral uh the water level here is a lot better than here but it's okay uh actually stop uh, that uh start mining ore Okay, you can see that he is mining ore now. Wait, also start going here, dude. You forget to plot your course. So, guys, this is just a tip. I usually don't forget it. Uh, but as soon, uh, when you have a lot of ships after some time, you will see that it is a lot more advantageous if you, uh, as soon as you arrive on a planet, you just go and try to set your next course. Plan your next uh, jump as soon as you arrive at a planet. Uh, because this game is about time management as well, so yeah, makes sense for you to, to to do that as soon as you can. So there, uh, the Nay Nayad is standing for your orders. So Nayad is going to join me. I'm gonna put him into my roster again, uh, in, into my formation. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy here, uh, and this guy will stay here in the back. Should be okay. We're just going to wait for the jump. While well, this guy is mining. Uh, last one. Okay, G. Let's go. G is the like the button okay. to press if you want to jump. I cannot remember the name. Oh my god, I usually 
Uh, let's see here. So we have another rover farm ship. That's great. So it's gonna be 39 soon. And here we have a rover miner. Oh my god, this is great. This is great. So I think we do have some rover passengers somewhere, right? Well, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, these guys have spices that will cost a lot in the next trading session. Uh, okay, we have rover crew, rover crew. Uh, can we do something about... Oh, wait, you also have rover crew. That's great, dude. That's great. Okay, so uh, take this one, transfer. Uh, this one will go here and hail. So we are in the planet where we can mine ore and produce a lot of water as well. So that's great. So let our ships go on their own ways. Uh, let's go here in the curve. And then we will go to, uh, to the jump gate. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll have enough time to go anywhere else after uh, jumping to the, to the gate system. Uh, to the gate planet <clears throat> so log um, day 26 i'd better be careful using warships from other factions uh, that i now have control over like the hibernia uh, any other faction i run across won't treat them as if they are packed they'll treat them as an empire ship even firing on them if they are enemies with the empire but perhaps i can think of ways to turn this to my advantage yeah, that could happen. That could, that could definitely happen sometimes, unfortunately. But it isn't too much to worry about, really. At least, I don't usually worry about it too much. So, we have some things here. I think I'll be giving... Uh, I'll be transferring some things, uh, like this cargo, to, this, to some guys here. Yes, I want my battleship to be to have a lot of free slots, as many of them as possible. Anyways, so siblings, sibling, things bad. Our job is make snacks. Now maybe we become snack. Uh, not know what to do. Jump now. Uh, we think, or or we can offer them to protect. Uh, we can offer them protection. Uh, don't jump. We will protect you. And we've just gained another uh, another one of these, which is great. Also, um, so we are about to receive that one. That's good. Um, yeah, this is not good. Uh, we are about at cap. We are about to cap uh, at maximum ore, unfortunately. That means I'll need to melt ice at this time. And let's put this guy into formation again. Uh, you know what? I think we are a bit too much towards here. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, I think this is good. Um, accept. So, great. Oh, right. I'm going to give you this one. And close. And let's see here. So, mining laser. Come on, dude. It'll be easy for you. Great! And another mining ship. That's great, you guys. Great. So, ship okay and ready. And since we... Um, be careful when sometimes you find these um, abandoned ships. If you don't have a good relationship with that faction, sometimes they will jump away and improve your relationship. Though it will also improve your relationships with them. So let's put that guy here. Uh, that's another mining ship. That's uh, great. Let's jump away to the next planet. Okay, I'm seeing a few things here. So we have a corp ship. It will probably give me a mission if I were to go there. And we have... Oh, what is this? Uh, oh, we have a fuel ship. Uh, it will uh, give me more fuel capacity, uh, storage. And here we have Empire. The Empire... Are they going to attack me? No, they're not. Okay. So, ooh, that's a lot. That's a big, uh, let's say, army there. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here and do this. Um, follow this guy as well. Follow? No. Uh, follow. Actually, let's talk with these guys. Let's hail them. 
Uh, this other guy will go here and heal this corp. So, corp ship. That's what I'm gonna do. I cannot remember really well what these other um, events are about. So, we shall see. Uh, I've never been close to a rovercraft before until now. Uh, I knew they were fast, but I'm surprised to find it a decent little food producer. One problem, it requires a lot of water to function. If I'm going to rely on these ships for food, I'll have to be very careful where I jump or I'm going to have some starving people on my hands. Fortunately, I can send scouts ahead of time and that's the same thing. So it's the same thing, but for the rovers. I cannot understand why would you say that. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's probably just a tip for the player. So, this is a mission. Uh, we need to go to Beetlejuice. Uh, I don't know where Beetlejuice is, though. Oh, dude. Oh, this will take me here. Oh my goodness, this is a big risk. This is a really big risk. Um, okay, let's just uh, buy them. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I usually don't do this because I usually have time uh, to go and do the mission. But I'm gonna offer them 4 ore. And hopefully this will not worsen my relationship with the corp. Okay, it did not worsen my relationship with them. I did lose some ore, but that's okay, okay? Uh, because I don't want to jump here. I want to jump here now. Because you can see that the wave is about to arrive, and I don't want to be late. Um, if I become late and this sector is occupied by the harvesters already, I have to do an en engagement, a really difficult battle. Or I think it usually is a really difficult battle. So yeah, um, also, always don't forget to, um, what, do you, what do you call it, always do not forget to plot your course as soon as you arrive, uh, when you have a lot of ships already. So thirsty ships, uh, hello, uh, yes we are currently under contract to the Empire, but if you can make us a better offer, we'll gladly provide fuel to you. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, offer the tanker one or to join you. Offer six or for the tanker to join. Offer one or to the empire to let the tanker go, and six or to the tanker for joining. Oh, what I would want to do is, um, I think this is the best way. So we are prepared to offer. Six or if you join us, if you agree, I will contact the Empire and discuss termination fee with them. Um, okay, so they said yes. Now I'm going to contact the Empire. Uh, uh, Empire Vessels, we have reached an agreement with the Galacticon Tanker. Oh, we've actually worsened our relationship with the Empire. That's not good. Um, Tanker Cadiz, for them to provide services to our fleet, we are transferring one ore to you in order to toughen the blow. Uh, this is an outrage, you'd better watch yourself. Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have contacted this guy. Maybe I should have contacted the Empire ships instead. Maybe I could have gained all of these ships. No, that's not good, dude. Now we're enemies with them. And they're about to jump, I'm pretty sure. Oh, dude, we are red again. That's not good because I really want to go into a an empire sector soon. Yep, they jumped away. Oh, dude, that sucks. Abort follow. Uh, are you guys? Oh, there's not. There, there, there's no ice here. Really? Wait, it, it is a gaseous planet, so yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. So we are. Yeah, that's not good. Stop. Uh, let's just wait for the jump. And let's jump. Oh, I actually need to check on this ship because it could be giving off some by some some things to the enemies. Um, I don't know if this ship is one of those that 
require me to send units there. Okay, so I also need to go here and heal this guy so that he will open the, um, the gates. Uh, let's go here. Uh, follow that guy. Sir, we've reached the pack jump gate. The station will have to unlock the jump gate before we proceed to the next sector. So we are going to do this. Uh, guys, you're going to mine ores. Stop uh, melting ice for now. Uh, since this is a packed uh, station, warp gate, or jump gate, uh, we just need to request them to unlock the gate. Usually with other factions, you need to pay up or do some favors to them for them for them to unlock the gate. So that's done. Let's go here. Lunch diplomats. Let's see if they can see something here. Scan. Okay, they, they didn't actually do anything, which is good. That means this... Um, this ship should be all right. It shouldn't have any surprises later on for, for later. Let's retake our diplomats aboard. So diplomats, gotcha. Okay. And okay, this guy as well. Let's go here, transfer some things. Okay, wouldn't we have like some cargo water? Okay, here, you. Transfer here. I'm I'm trying to organize my things a little bit while waiting for the jump. So uh, I'm gonna transfer water here. Even though I would love or I would prefer to have like um, cargo water plus two water instead of this type of water. But I guess that's the only thing I have right now, so I cannot really do anything. Okay, let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, the transfer is done. So, uh, let us jump now. Ah, uh, we're about at maximum again. I would like to have more um, cargo ships right now. Uh, let's jump. Uh, let's see. So, we have a packed place, packed, and this is Corp. Another one packed. Uh, are there no Empire? Empire slots here. Oh, there are, but they are a bit more near the um, the warp the warp gate. I mean the gate. So I can go through here uh, because they are blue planets. Then go for the empire. And there's a mining planet here. Then go to the pack, and then maybe go around here, um, trying to take. A lot of this empire. Uh, let's say empire. Call them. A lot of this empire planets. So let's go here. You're plotting your plot. Uh, your plot. That's good. Our are they mining? Okay, they are mining. That's good. Okay, we we'll reach the second sector. Just need to wait for now. Jump. Oh, there it is. Look at that. They are already here. The harvesters. Okay, two green contacts, uh, meaning that they aren't hostile. So we have a packed frigate. Nice. I'm gonna take that one for myself. And a corp crew. Okay, I cannot remember how this goes, but this usually doesn't go well for me when I do this uh, when I do this hail. Hopefully this time it will be it will go better. If not, then that would mean I need to go here. So let's follow that guy. I need to take over it if it doesn't uh, give me the right options, shall we say? So I'm still getting used to this new ship uh, there have been a lot of upgrades for example it used to take us days to refuel uh, this new drone dive boats gather fuel from any planetary environment at an astonishing rate once we exit the core worlds it'll take longer to refuel of course okay of course i guess ping that guy let's see what it uh, is going to tell me 
Okay, so this guy, uh, this is not good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is... Mm, we need to escort them. Try to convince them their delivery doesn't matter and join your fleet. I, I never actually tried this one, but... We can stall for time, I think. What happens if I stall for time? Okay, you know what? Uh, lunch diplomats. Uh, let's see if it goes well. Come on. Okay, we have arrived. Um, okay, okay, we've just gained a another ship, but they actually require the diplomats to stay on board. Oh, really? And that also... Oh, dude. Hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, I thought I had to board them to be able to gain this ship. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, and that, that actually worsened my relationship with uh, with these guys. Uh, but that's gonna be alright. Um, I'm about to save them, so... It should be good. Um, okay, this is the pre uh, packed frigate. So, sir, would you mind submitting full verification? Uh, we all, with all the madness, I just don't know who to trust. Agree to the verification process. They will say, oh, that's all right. There's no need because it takes time. And right now, we don't have time, okay, on our side. So, good. We've just gained another packed frigate. The most powerful, powerful frigate in the game, in my opinion. So, yeah, come on, dude. Take that one. And we also need to save all of these guys. So, rescue them. Oh my god, this is going to take a long time. Come on. Okay, Corp. That's gonna... That should be bettering my relationship with them. Oh, that, that doesn't? Okay, I guess. So, let's jump away. And see what else we can find here. Okay, let's stop. Um, we have an Empire ship uh, that is taking hostage a a farm ship, and we also have an Empire ship here. Okay, uh, let's see. So, what can I do? Okay, you go here. Follow. They're not attacking us, which is good. It's a good sign. Uh, we can go here. Follow as well. These two will go here. And follow. And I think that's it for now. That's what I'm gonna do for now. Um, guys, I'm going to end the video here right now uh, because I don't have time anymore. Uh, wait, uh, let's do this last thing. So, sir, fleet regulations stipulate that when we are traveling with more than one ship, we are strongly recommended to send one of those ships ahead to scout. But there's nothing in the regs about in the regulations about sending civilian ships ahead of scout ahead to scout, sir. Uh, we can do it, but it's risky. If they don't return, we'll surely take the blame and we will have no idea why they didn't come back still it might be worth it with a scouting report we'll have a high degree of certainty that what ships will be present at a destination before we reach it and we'll know how good the resources are so yes uh, here they are talking about scouting but i don't usually scout that much because i usually prefer jumping onto a habitable planet which has everything that you require so, yeah, uh, th that's just another type of gameplay, um, I think. So, yes, sir. Oh, and another thing, scouts don't consume water and... Uh, uh, water. Yes, that's another thing. They don't consume water. Uh, they do not require water while they are away scouting. I'm sorry to quote regs to you, sir, but uh, I thought I it was important. Scouting is accomplished through the nav interface. Uh, you may access nav through your universe. So, here's the thing, right? You go here, click one of the things um one planet it doesn't matter which one uh, you can do this um close or here and then drag a ship that you want to scout uh, 
but yeah that's just the gist of it um anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please click that like button down below and also consider subscribing to the channel i would appreciate it a lot if you did so once again guys thank you so much for watching the video i'm like a dark trap and i'll see you guys next time goodbye